Hey everyone, this is Ryan. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create, update, and delete records in Dataverse from a Canvas app. So this will give you the foundation you need to interact with your data. So let's take a look at the current stuff that we have. Right now, I have several tables added from the Dataverse. So the way you could tell that's a Dataverse table is the, the green symbol here for Dataverse. And I'm going to use the accounts table um, that's available out of the box. I do have some sampled um, you know, data that's been entered uh, for you know, the default for Dataverse. So you'll see those all listed here. And I currently have a gallery with some columns from the accounts table. On the right, we'll go through create, update, and delete. You'll notice how create and update have the same um, fields involved here with all the, the text fields and drop downs. So let's take a look at create and how we can create a record. So if I click on the create button here and I'll expand and I already have all the formulas available ready for us. Um, so I'm just going to explain what they do and how you can use them on your side. So here you'll see a patch statement. So a patch statement is used to either create or update a record in the Dataverse. Um, it could be used elsewhere, for example, like SQL or even uh, SharePoint, but for patch, for our purposes in Dataverse, um, we'll be using it to create an update. So you will have to reference the table that you want to you know, create a record in. So in this, in this case, it's the accounts table. And then you'll see to the right, if I click on it, it'll say record. So since we're not updating a record, we have to um, let the patch statement know that we're creating a record. And to do that, you'll see it. we have defaults accounts. So that means that we're just going to use the default account schema to create a new record. And then down below, we get to define which columns that we want to stamp when we first create the record. So in this case, I have a variety of different record uh, field types available here. We have the text. So after you enter in the, the column name, so if you enter in like a comma here, you will see a list of columns available to you. Okay, so there's going to be quite a bit of use in out of the box table. If you have a custom table, there'll be definitely a lot less. So after you add your column that you want to um, create or add data to, you reference the field in your Canvas app. So in this case, we're referencing a text box, and then we're, we just have to reference the text property when referencing a text box. From here, you will see that we have account status, which is a dropdown in the Dataverse. So from here, you will see that when we select the, um, the combo box here, we want to always use selected, and then from here, the value. And then if we're using a date field, we'll be using the selected date property of the date field. And then if you're using a currency value or even like a numeric value, like such as number, decimal, or float, you should use a value and reference the text field now for primary contact, you will see here how if we click on the primary contact dropdown here, we're referencing a data source. So with the data source, it's saying, look up to the accounts table and we're just bringing in the whole accounts table in here. So when I go to it, you will see that we're just saying the selected record. So whenever you reference a lookup, value in the Dataverse, you have to pass along the whole record. So once this record is created, we're going to reset the fields to their defaults. So we're just going to blank them out or with the last contacted date, we're just going to you know default it to today. And then we're going to refresh our data set so that our gallery is updated. So let's take a look and see how that works. So I'm going to press play here. Um, We'll just do test demo. We're going to put a previous date, revenue. We'll just put 140,000. And then from here, we'll say it's a new status. And then we're going to add this contact. So once we click create, 
you will see that the new record appears at the top here. And you see how my fields here on the right are now refreshed. So that's how easy it is to create a Dataverse record from a Canvas app. Let's go to update. So update, I included a separate you know, section of fields that are specific to the update um, you know, selection that we're going to make here. So if I click on any of these records, you will see that all of them update to the gallery item I selected here on the left. So if we go to the one I, I selected here, and let's go to the update property, you will see it looks very similar to the previous formula we used on create. We're using a patch, we're referencing the accounts table, but here we're defining what the record is. So we're saying it's the, gal the selected record in the gallery, okay? You don't need to reference, for example, like the, the account, you know, GUID or anything like that. You have to reference the whole record itself. And from here, all we're going to do is use the, the fields that we've identified below. So the account name, date, revenue, status, all that. And we're actually referencing the exact same uh, properties. So the text field for you know, any text, selected value for dropdowns, and the selected record for a contact or a lookup value. And after we're done, we will refresh the accounts table. So if we go and press play and we make some updates here and click update, we will see that our gallery on the left will then update accordingly. So if I click update, you will see everything has been updated on the left side. So that's how easy it is to update a record in Dataverse. Now let's go to delete. And this one is uh, the easiest to perform actually, which is kind of scary, but hopefully, you know, deletes are kind of restricted on your side of who can do that. So if I go to the delete uh, button here and I go to the on select property that triggers the delete, you will see that I just use the remove function here and I reference the table and I have to reference the record. So at this point, you will see that I'll just say remove this record that's selected in the gallery, and then I'll refresh the accounts table. So if I go to here, press play, and click delete, then you'll see that record is deleted from the dataverse. So that's it. That's how you can create, update, and delete records in the dataverse. So hopefully this video will give you the foundation of how to interact with your data in your Canvas app.